Hello everybody and welcome back to the new safe file. We're going to be jumping in again and this time we are going to go in as Samuel, Samuel, I never know how to pronounce it, but the tainted version. I did do a showcase of this character when it first came out and I really enjoyed it and I've been wanting to get a character made for this guy for a long time so that we can play him more. Because what I, from what I saw last time, this character is really something special. He's very strong, mind you, but he's really something very special in terms of how enjoyable he is. We, of course, still have the scythe as, as normal, but now we can do this and create some uh, little pentagram style things. So we can tap a certain amount of times. Once we tap this many times, it goes through. And with each subsequent one, we get more and more damage. Or we can just do two and then go boom. And it, it really, yeah, it, it makes combat a lot more interesting. Uh, you, you've got kind of got to play to the strengths of it. Oh, God, that, that guy was a little uh, voracious. You've got to play to the strengths of it, and it's not particularly easy um, in terms of, like, arranging yourself properly. Yeah, a little bit annoyed I lost that burn heart there so easily, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, this is the sort of thing you want to do right here. You want to lead enemies sort of into your web, your web of destruction, and then uh, play with them <laughs> once you get them in there. Pretty fly, nice. And we'll grab some of that as well, lovely. And yeah. Still absolutely amazingly satisfying scythe play, but then on top of that, you get the beautifulness of having the movement, and yeah, you can do some really, really funky stuff with this as well. But I have no idea if this will end up doing anything for us. Oh, and we can like skip across the room with it. So yeah, I'm not sure if spider lumps will do much for us, I'll be honest, because uh, I don't know what it, how it counts us as firing here, so we'll see. Really, we want to be hitting them on the last peg of our of our uh, swing. Oh, bloody hell. Did that guy do a full heart of damage to me as well? Wow. Might be a rather short-lived first run, to be honest. But yeah, we can grab stuff with our scythe as well, which is really nice. I should really maybe go and see if I can buy a, a soul heart or something. Okay. What we really want to do here is make a little bit of webbing that we try and utilize to the best of our ability here, but it's not super easy. Not super easy. Really, just taking him out like this is going to be easier than anything else. What I need to do is I need to make like a little thing here. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Damn, it's, it's difficult. I'm going to have to get used to it. It's difficult. There we go. That's the one. And we get a golden cube of meat here. That is not a bad thing to get two of, I'll be honest. Um, obviously, it doesn't start off being super good, but later down the line, getting an earlier cube of meat. Do you know what? I'm going to try and use Meat Boy to uh, blow this up because I don't want to mess that up. Got you two. Easy. And you can also, like, if you do this and then go... Wah, you can, like, use the ranged attack as well. It's a little bit harder to, to use that correctly, I'll be honest. But it kind of works. Um, Golden Penny. Do you know what? I'm going to do this. It's a little bit of a cheat. Oh, come on. One penny off. Um, Sponsor Golden Penny upon entering a new floor. Shops will now sell an additional one to four items that are drawn from the shop, treasure, and boss pool. If the shop is a greed fight, it'll instead spawn three to four items when the mini boss dies. I need one penny. I have to I have to get one penny. I can't even take damage to get it either though. Like this is This is gonna be real sad, isn't it? I can't even take damage to get it. Ah okay. Um I'm th I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Come on, game. I've got no bomb. I've got nothing. This is really upsetting. I should have just blown up the goddamn keeper dude with him. There's no poop left either. Oh, wait. Yes! Yes, thank goodness. Yes. Okay, that's made me feel so much better because a golden penny at the start of every floor plus this all, all this extra stuff for the shops. Incredibly powerful shop item. Uh, really, really wanted it. I'm glad we got it. Right, let's head down to the next floor. Hope we don't die here because at the minute our health is not in a particularly stable spot, but... We get a golden penny here, and obviously we never really know how 
how fruitful a golden penny is going to end up being, but we just hope for the best. We just hope for the best. I mean, honestly, 14 off of one at penny is, is pretty darn good, I think. Okay, not great. That was good. Definitely could use a bit more range to increase our sight size. That would be lovely. Crack that open. Grab an extra key. Dead bird is unfortunate. It's not really that good, but we will take it. Beautiful. Played that room nice and easy. Dude, that was a... That was a low blur right there. That was a low blur. I'm pretty upset about that. Okay. Really, really got to be careful now because we are in a position where it's super easy for us to die. And we have quite a lot of rather frustrating enemies to deal with too. Like, the, the, the Bernie boy here, especially the wall-mounted guy, is going to be a real problem for me, I think. I'm just going to have to play it real slow with him. Oh, Dead Bird actually helped us out there. Now, Tinted Rock in this room would be super, super useful. Um, See, this, is this thing here a Tinted Rock? I don't think it is, is it? It's another one right there. Unless there's two in this room, potentially. Nah, I don't think it is. There's quite a few of them. Okay. Oh, my little mini Isaacs have sides too. I always forget about that. That's the cutest thing ever. Okay, this run's got some... It's got some sauce to it, so I'd really like to keep it alive. I'm going to play as cautiously as I can, and that probably means not using my memento much, unless I kind of have to. Um, I mean... Yeah. That's, that, that is what it is. I got fucking... I, I, I genuinely hate those spiders with a burning passion. <sighs> that was like probably one of the worst rooms I could have possibly have come across for a, for a, a moment in which I felt like I need to be really careful and safe. Like that that those enemies are just rough. Anyways, we move on to the next one. We get Prank Cookie, which is potentially pretty good off the bat here. I don't know if it'll uh, do much with our scythe, but we'll uh, hope for the best. Yeah, a little bit of a sad one to lose, especially with like the the golden meat boy and stuff. Okay, we are, we are actually triggering certain effects from Prank Cookie here. Oh shit, like, I, I just, I've just noticed how I like... You, did you see that? Look, our trail is like multicolored. Hey, that's so cool. Okay, nice. But changing color all the time. But yeah, I don't think I need to use Memento there all the time. Ooh, there's a, another scythe coming out of me there. Speed up is very, very good. I will take the pill as well to look down. I'll just accept it for what it is. There you go. That was that was a one where I was being overly cautious. I think it all it all started from losing the burn heart. Also, weird room to have the door blocked off like that. Damn it! And I got hit by the fire. Lovely. Kind of a hard boss to utilize this on, I think. I don't want to overdo it, because as, as I clearly am showing, if I overdo it, I'm just going to end up hurting myself from the fires he places down. I think I want to be playing it more so with the scythe than anything else, but... Lovely. We got him dead. E PJs definitely saves us some stuff. Can, can the fire... Yeah, get out of the way, please. There you go. Lovely. Okay. Have a slightly better time that last one. Slightly annoying to have a false start like that. I mean, it happens from time to time, of course, but we prefer not to have them like that. Beautiful. A few kills there. One guy left. Grab me a penny. Grab me a penny. As long as I can kill one enemy while doing that, I'm pretty satisfied with the result. Broken disc. Oh, Lord. That's an amazing broken disc to get. That's so fucking funny. Just a fucking load of these blocks. <laughs> There's like eight of them there. <laughs> That's amazing. What what a great broken disc to get. 
These things are pretty strong as well. <laughs> I like it. I wonder if it's going to be any good in a room like this. Do you blow up when I kill you? Yeah, I'm, gonna say, I'm pretty sure you do. You have a bomb in your head, so I would assume that, that would be the case. My block's just uninterested in this guy. Dude, you're right next to him. There you go. <laughs> Worked it out eventually. Double keys, lovely. Hopefully our item room has something beautiful for us as well. No, it's just the Eternal D10. Again. This goddamn item is the bane of my fucking existence. It just never ever leaves me alone. It shows up once a run, every run, without fail. Did I just chop the head off of that guy? What the hell? I did not know that was a thing that I could do. Yeah. Still, anyone have any inkling about the Eternal D10 business? Please let me know, because it's getting incredibly frustrating to just get... I've asked on the Discord and everything, no one seems to know. I just get the item over and over and over and over and over again, and it's just ridiculous. I don't want it. It's a, it's it's not a particularly good item. Like, it's not terrible, but it's not particularly good. Basically, it has a chance to either re-roll or remove the enemy. Oh my god, I'm getting hit a lot. But I feel like they need to pick it up right now because it won't fucking leave me alone. Oh lord, that troll bomb you're throwing out there looks a bit dis disheveled. I'm determined to get this goddamn copper bomb to blow up on him. Didn't work. Good, we got him. Got a HP up here. I guess I'll take a devil deal at this point. A theme is incredible. We'll definitely take that. Right. I think we just go. Unfortunately, we do have minus luck right now, so luck isn't going to play too big of a factor with a theme here. But hopefully, we can increase that luck as we go and, and make it so. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do. That was very incorrect. I tried. I tried to do that right, and my brain just failed. So I think what we do is we do... Yeah, there you go. That's it. That's it. I did it right that time. My brain had a, had a simple moment there. Unfortunately, not something we want. Fame there doing its thing. And a fame also takes on our tier effects too, even better. Dark Bomb is pretty good in this situation. Oh lord, I got caught between all those spiders then, but yeah, Dark Bum, pretty damn good. We can go and uh, grab this heart back over here already. Take that, my good fella. Treat it well. Yeah, I, I really don't think I want to be using the Eternal D10 most of the time. I think it's going to be problematic for me. Definitely need a bit more base damage so I can kill enemies with my sight a little easier. Cool. I will check this out because we've got enough money for a soul heart right now. Buy that. Yeah, I can I can decapitate these guys for a penny, which is pretty interesting to know. I wonder if I could have done that in the last run to get that last penny I required. Maybe I missed out on that fact. Come on, the theme. Do your thing. A theme is so, so strong now. Like I said, it is it is slightly luck reliant, so it's not going to be insane, but it's still pretty damn good. Good. One, two, and three. Um, it doesn't really do anything for us, but I'll take it. Can I, like, get one of these in here and... No, you're not going to come over. Come over a little bit. 
Broom. No, that didn't work. Damn it. I tried. And then you're gonna give me a card. Nice. D7. I'll, I'll crack these open. Very bad hit by me there. Sun card's very nice though. Probably use it next floor rather than this floor at this point. Ignore me. I'm just gonna use it straight away. It's exactly what I meant to do. I, de I totally didn't use to mean to use um, Mentimori, or whatever you wanna call it. Definitely meant to use the card. I I'll still never get over how annoying that is to me that when you pick something up, it defaults into the same slot as your um, as your pocket active. It's just like no, no. I don't, I don't want you to do that. I want you to be on a separate goddamn key. So at the minute we've got that thing where when we kill enemies, we use cards um, from that uh, from that secret disc we just used. And I'm hoping that we can get a good few uses out of it before it disappears completely from us. Because uh, so far we've had two uses of the Hero Font card, which seems pretty incredible. I'd say as far as things go, so for this guy I've got to do this, right? Yeah. There you go. Oh wait, I've got flight right now. Wait, what? Wait, can- what the hell? Whoa, what the- I didn't know this gave me flight, what the fuck? What the hell? I can't believe I got two hero font cards from that, that's so goddamn lucky. Ow. Bad hits there, bad hits. Right. Oh, Lord. It had to be him, didn't it? I'm hoping a fame just takes care of all of us. And it pretty much did, yeah. This will be a damage down, right? Yeah, it's a massive damage down. Damn it. I knew it would be a bit of a damage down, but I didn't think it'd be a that big of a damage down. It's an investment for later. Basically, you take a little bit of a damage down while you have low damage to get higher damage later. Unfortunately, I didn't realize it was going to be that significant of a damage down. So now we're in kind of a rough spot, I've got to admit. We're in kind of a rough spot. I realize I'm using soul hearts for this, but they can pay out pretty well. Um, tears down. Oh, we're really killing it right now. Okay, this has been tragic. In a word, this has been tragic. Lord. We've had a damage down and a tears down come one after the other. So at the minute, I would say we're in a pretty rough spot. Also, it's a 25% damage down as well. I would say that for a little while here, at least until our next devil deal, we're probably going to be in a bit of a hole. Now, a theme could pick up some of the slack, but we have to get an initial kill for a theme to work, remember, so... Not going to be the best. Oh my god, everything's taking so long to die. I'm probably going to take a lot of damage here, because I just... Killing things is going to take me fucking years. Taurus is intriguing, I guess. Milk is a little bit... Oh lord. No. How did I get myself stuck in that situation? Dude, not again. What have I done to that guy? All of this for fucking milk as well. All of that. All of that damage for milk. 
Taurus is not a great idea, I'll be honest, but it's damage right now. That was a very bad pull on that Axive there. I was like, this is not a good room for me. I will gamble here. Do you know, I kind of think this run's dead. Like, it's, it's early to call it, I realize. It's, it's a little bit, it's not very hopeful of me. But I gotta say, I kind of feel like that damage down plus the tears down has absolutely murdered this run. Help up is kind of good for the devil deal. Oh, that is, that is beautiful. <laughs> That's the sort of stuff we need to be seeing. But yeah, I think I'm going to need some pretty quick turnarounds to like get to a point where I'm happy with this situation. Like, look at the amount of damage I'm doing to these little beady boys on a swing. It's just like nothing. Absolutely nothing right now. Okay. At least, like I said, a theme is 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 somewhat carrying the effort for us. I'm really hoping for a devil deal that gives us a pretty significant damage increase now. The good thing is when we do get a damage increase, it'll be worth extra. It'll be worth 1.5 times what it otherwise would have been. You're going to take forever to kill, aren't you? That you are, my good friend. Wow, we're going to be waiting here a while. And then we get Taurus. Which means we can't even swing at you anyways. Bloody hell. Yeah, in rooms like this, it's just not worth it, is it? <laughs> oh, why are, you, why are you all invincible like that? Why, why are you going to be that way? Okay, we just got a lot of hearts out of this guy, though. That's good. Another paralysis pill. Seems fair. Yeah. Good, 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 good. We've been to our item room. Come on, Devil Deal. Please hold up for us here. Did, like, no damage. What the hell? Sometimes it, like, you get the big, big deeps, and sometimes it's like, nah, no damage. Like, this guy's taking nothing right now. Why are you still hidden, dude? I don't know what to do right now. Dude! I've never seen this attack before, but I always killed him before he even gets to the stage. Come on, Devil Deal. You know what you gotta do. That. That is so far away. So far away from what I needed right now. That is the exact opposite of what I needed. Not even a single item for sale. Are you actually killing me? Like, what? Why? Oh, come on. <sighs> this is horrible. What, the, what do I do about these enemies? Get away. Hell. Another tears down pill? Why? That's so mean. <laughs> Why'd you have to do that? I'll take that.
My goodness. Okay. The struggle bus is real in this episode. The struggle bus is real. We have a very good character. With a very good trait. We don't have any damage because I gave it all away. One of those items you've got to be careful with where you could get huge gains from it, but you could also get massively screwed by it. Kind of got to play your cards right. And I clearly did not in this situation. I don't have any keys, really. I thought this run was going to be speedy. Where'd all these enemies in the corners come from? Dude, this, this D10, it's not making anything disappear. It's just making everything into harder enemies. What is this? We had a deal. This room is so much harder than it was before. Come on now. Be reasonable, game. Be reasonable. What is this? I can't. Dude, why is this guy raging? Oh my lord. I am. Oh. I am not happy at all at the way that this run is going. This is just dire. I feel like I'm whacking them with a soft, wet fucking paper towel. I have no damage. Come on. How does it take four slices? And I've got such little tears. Like, give me some tears up, please. Like, where- I'm seeing all these goddamn pills. Where's my goddamn tears up pill? I- I am owed it. It is oweth to me. So, why could I goddamn fly before and now I can't? I- Not quite sure about what that was from. Confusing, I guess. Just- just- just confusing. Right, then one's disappeared. See, we got a- we got a bag in there. A luck upgrade is pretty nice, actually. Any Anything that can make a Thame a little more of our saviour is, is going to be something that we, that we deeply, deeply cherish. Jar of Flies is certainly better than that piece of crap. Can actually get some damage going with Jar of Flies, although... It won't be a lot because it's based on our damage. Oh, what are you doing? You big, key-wielding earth. What was that for? Stop it. <sighs> Have we been to the item room yet? We haven't. No. That could still save us. That could still be... I don't know, what could that be? That What could that be that would really just make everything feel okay? I don't know, maybe like technology or something that's going to be like synergy based for the for the scythe. Something that's really going to up the ante. Really. Oh, the double hit. I can't, I can't do this. I don't have the damage for this. Oh my god, I'm just bleeding. <laughs> I need to stay close to the enemies to goddamn hit them, but I can't do it. Even my, even my, um, Memento Mori is just not doing anywhere near enough damage. Like, it's not, it's not killing anything. And I, I couldn't, oh, I'm so frustrated right now. I'm so frustrated. Why did I do this to myself? Just run. I told you, I don't know what it is at the moment, but I cannot play this game for shit. I, like, something has happened. Some little switch has gone off in my brain where I've just forgotten everything I know about playing this game well, and I just can't do it anymore. Like, I just... I get hit so much. It's, it's not even, like, really about decision-making. I just get hit way, way more than I ought to. didn't kill anything. This is depressing. Like, I dropped a golden bomb. That gives us a little bit of a way out. Right, 
Right. Come on. One moment. Do, 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 do. Okay. All good. Here's our uh, good old item room. All we need is one of you to a theme and everyone else dies. I mean, it's it's really not going to save the day, but it's a start. It's something. Right. Let's get out of here. The, the speed down we have from Taurus is also severely depressing my soul. I could take that speed up again. Do you know what I'm going to? This is just too slow. I can deal with a bit of slowness. But that's just... A ridiculous amount. Right. On to the boss. Not a great boss for us here, but we do have unlimited bombs to go at. So it shouldn't be as bad. I don't even know what I need to hit right now. Is it the brain? Right. Good. I mean, it makes our trinket gold at least. We get some more speed. Oh, we also got this. Nesting doll. When blowing up a beggar has a chance to spawn a different random beggar in its place. A lot of speed to lose. But that seems kind of interesting. Do we have any beggars about on this floor? I don't think we do, do we? Right, let's let's take this and go. And we'll kind of just see how that concludes for us. Oh damn. A very, very bad hit from me there. Again, getting hit way too much. Calm down. Got a lot of money there, though. Maybe you can make something worth with the money. Money does make the world go round, so we'll see. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Jar of Flies is like a saving grace right now. I really just wish a Thame would proc a little more often. How is this guy not dead? Also... This goddamn modifier that makes enemies go into rage mode, I don't know what it is, but I despise it. It's, it's, no. Just leave me alone with your stupid rage mode. I don't want to deal with it. No rage mode for me, please. Okay. Come on, big boy. You know you need to die. Thank you. And there you go. Once we get in the theme trigger, it makes the room so much easier. But before that point, it's just rough. Hit again. So much HP lost. Thank God I just used a black heart to clear this room, though. That definitely eased my uh, my worries. There's Necro 2 already. This is full card territory, this is. Come on, item room. You know you can give me like a thousand damage up that's going to save the entire day. You know it's in the cards. I just walked right into that guy. What was I thinking? I literally just walked right into him. I didn't... I didn't want to use that card. Could someone, please, for the love of God, 
for the love of, of all my sanity, just make a mod that makes cards that you pick up not go into the active sort. Make sure your fucking goddamn stupid pocket active is always in the active slot. And it only goes to the card when you choose. I would always rather waste my pocket active charge than waste the card or pill that I picked up. Always. 100% of the time. I never ever want it to be the card first. Ever. Go away. You frustrate me so much. Now I am probably going to die here. So we just got to hope for the best. Unfortunately all my bombs are uh, terribly timed. Might be the worst I've ever played in Isaac. Legitimately oof. Oh, Lord. Not good at this game. I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. It's cool to see this character back in the mix, and I'll certainly be playing as them more as the days go forward. But two deaths in one run is this guy, who I s said was kind of overpowered and quite easy. Guess I was wrong about that. But then again, I ruined that run by taking a few items in a row that were just not, not very well advised. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed regardless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.